a secret location in Hollywood. It's the Tom Mikey Show. Give me a darn break. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5-800-TOM. 1-800-5-800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. This is the funniest goddamn story of the year. This is pretty funny. How stupid are Americans? How stupid are you? I'm talking to you. You know, we, we, we talk to people about money and the economy and what's happening in the business world, what's happening with commodities. We've talked about all these things on this program. And it never ceases to amaze me how stupid Americans are. I'm not talking about one or two Americans. I'm not talking about the president. I'm talking about us as a group. Stupid. Just played stupid. I first saw this story on CNBC, and I thought I was hearing things. I mean, if you ever needed an example of how stupid America is, listen to this story from the Los Angeles Times. Wow. The global run on rice has hit U.S. shores. But appears limited to, get this, big box warehouse stores. <laughs> Customers concerned about rising rice prices have been cleaning out the shelves at Walmart Stores Incorporated's Sam's Club and Costco Wholesale Corporation Store. Sam's Club said that customers will no longer be allowed to purchase more than four bags of jasmine, basmati, and long grain white rice per visit. Per visit! The policy involves only bags of 20 pounds or larger and does not affect consumer packages. Now, do you understand what they're saying here? In a visit, you can only buy 80 pounds of jasmine rice, no more. And people are having to be limited. Raise your hands, unless you have a family of 50. How many of you have even bought one 20-pound bag of rice? Much less four at a time. Much less more than four at a time. Sam's Club said the policy is effective immediately across all of its U.S. stores. It blamed the new limits on, quote, supply and demand trends and said it is working with suppliers, quote, to ensure we are in stock and we are asking for our members' cooperation and patience. What are people doing? Sending it overseas to relatives? There's no rice shortage in this country. You're a bunch of boobs. They're a bunch of morons. It says here, earlier this week, Costco said it had seen sales spike for flour, rice, and some cooking oils, and was considering limiting sales in stores where it had limited supplies. The chain, now get this, this is even funnier. I mean, I don't know how the reporter kept a straight face when he was writing this story. Says here, <laughs> Costco said it is considering, li listen to this carefully now, Costco said it is considering limiting the number of pallets a customer could purchase rather than stopping sales altogether. Hey, how many pallets is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. Five pallets is the limit, pal. Put the sixth one back. Who are 
are these nuts? Are they related to the loon I heard on conservative talk radio recently said he was stocking up on light bulbs? Because the government was going to ban incandescent light bulbs as we know them, and so he's trying to stock up before they ban them? Who are these people? Seriously, do you know anybody like this? Says here, internationally, shortages of basic food commodities, including rice, wheat, and some oils, has prompted protests and riots in recent months. We don't live in those countries. Is this a matter of recent immigrants who shop at Sam's Club and Costco? I mean, is any does any American out there think we're running out of, like, canola oil? Have you been to the supermarket lately? There's walls of cooking oil. Are you kidding me? Cooking oil, rice, flour. Yes, prices have gone up. But the government doesn't ration that stuff out here like they do in other countries. We're not running out of it. What moron saw this story about food riots in other countries and decided they had to run down to Costco right away and stock up on rice and to stock up on cooking oil? You're nuts! It says here in the United States, brewers have complained of shortages of certain types of hops used to make high-end beers, and bakers have scrambled to find some specialty flours. With the exception of rising prices, the nation has escaped the problem seen in other countries. You know why? Because we have a free enterprise system that allows prices to go up when there's more demand. That's why. The countries where they're having these riots, the government buys all these staples. The government decides what price they're going to pay. And the government decides how much they're going to dole out to the average moron. In our country... When we start to run out of something, or when there's a demand for something, or when there's a shortage of something, when the price of something goes up, they, they raise prices. It's called free enterprise. This is why you don't run out of this stuff. If flour costs more, the price is raised, the expense is passed on to the consumer, and then people have to decide if they're going to cut back or not. But you don't have to go to the store and empty the shelves of rice, you idiots. Jesus. It says here, the limits on bulk rice purchases by a major retailer such as Sam's Club are the first sign of any spillover in the United States. But it's just a bunch of idiots who are doing this. The price of many foods, including beer, bread, coffee, pizza, and rice, have risen rapidly in recent months as the nation contends with its worst bout of food inflation since the 1990s. The cost of groceries is rising at an annual rate of about 5% this year. Rice jumped by almost 10% last month, according to government data. Tim Johnson, president and CEO of the California Rice Commission, which represents growers and millers of rice in California, said when you see a staple for your business or your family double in price over the last year, you want to minimize future price increases. Yes, you go in and buy like four or five pallets of rice. Just to cover your ass. Says here, small businesses, including many restaurants, rely heavily on big warehouse chains for their supplies. Scooping up rice sacks might be a rational economic move for small businesses that want to stock up before prices rise even higher. But it's not a response to the type of shortage that would prevent Americans from from obtaining the grain, the analyst said. Johnson said, here's the quote from the California Rice Commission. We don't have a rice shortage here in California or the United States. But there's a bunch of idiots who don't understand what they're seeing on the news, and they go running out to the store. Give me as much rice as I can carry. Help! Idiots. It says here the U.S. Department of Agriculture projects U.S. rice supplies unchanged from a year ago and at about the average for the last seven years, you idiots. Though the U.S. is one of the world's top rice growers, Americans don't consume much rice. Between 40 and 50 percent of what the U.S. grows annually is exported. If we have a shortage of rice, we just keep it here. Screw the other countries. I mean, how stupid can people be? How can people not understand that when there are food riots in another country, that doesn't mean that we're running out of food. 
Am I am I going over the top here or what? Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. It's only appropriate to give her a compliment if you could give the same compliment to a man. But, wow, that's the fastest I've ever seen anybody change the tire. <laughs> you know, it, it has to be a generic situation. If you give them, wow, you look great today, what they heard is, hey, he's buying me a wedding ring. <laughs> <laughs> it's the Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show, 1-800-5800-TOM. Does anybody out there think we're going to have food shortages in this country? Are any of you that paranoid or crazy? I mean, somebody is going to Sam's Club and Costco and buying up all the rice and all the cooking oil. Who are these people? Who are they? Do you know them? Who are they? 1-800-5800-TOM. That is our telephone number. It's Jay on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing okay, Jay. Good. What, what you did was basically make the analysis of a classic pump and dump scenario that they do in commodities trading, which is get a little jitteriness in the market, make people nervous, and then they start thinking, oh, is there going to be enough food? And then all of a sudden the contracts start going up, and guys like me sell those contracts knowing that in about six weeks when people figure out that there's not going to be any food shortage, we can fill all those orders and make a tidy sum. It's, it's panic, and it's beautiful. There's never been a food shortage in this country since the Great sure. Depression, has there? never been a food shortage because we have a free market economy. And no matter how bad things are, people will always have enough money for food. There will always be enough energy for food. Even if you go broke, you can still plant food in your backyard. And that's how stupid these people are. I, I've seen it three or four times in my career. And watching this one, I mean, all the commodities are going up. Uh, orange juice, pork bellies. Oh, I believe me. I'm, I'm invested in a commodities mutual fund. I know all about it. It's just a funny thing. I said the corn shortage with the biofuels. And literally, I'm 30, and I, I'm, I'm poor compared to most of my buddies, but I know guys 28, 27, they're done with it. When they make their $50 million, they move to the Hamptons, move to Malibu, get on the red Ferrari bandwagon. It's like I'm about $40 million short of where I want to be, and, and it's because I'm lazy. <laughs> <laughs> I have market panic. It's where we make all of our money. It, it's, it, nothing changes but people's attitude, and that's what's happening. So right. is that the way this works? Like a couple of you guys go on CNBC and talk about uh, the fact there's going to be a shortage of orange juice or rice or corn? It, i got to tell you, people, when it gets to stupid things like what's on their breakfast table, I mean, God forbid you didn't have rice for a couple of years. Who cares? But they start to go, what's going to happen to this? What's going to happen to that? Mar market panic is, it's you know, right now you're seeing it in real estate. The guy's $700,000 house. Now he's worried. Now it's only worth five hundred, So he's panicking. It's like, what difference does it make? Live in your house. You go to your grocery store. If it costs you a little more of your budget, so what? And well, there's plenty of food. Um, you know, it's, it, but it, it, it does create a lot of wealth for a lot of my friends. Wow, wow, wow. Thanks for taking my call, Tom. Jay, thank you. A commodities trader. There's the truth right there. But yet there's a lot of idiots out there rushing off to buy up all the rice at Sam's Club. Oh, my. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's Alex on the Tom Likas show. Hello. What's going on, Dad? Uh, not much, son. Doing a radio show here. Dude, are people seriously retarded or something? Because how the hell are we going to run out of rice? We okay. don't run out of anything in this country. We don't. Prices go up. That's it. You don't run out of anything. If if if, if there's a shortage or if, if a price of a commodity goes up, uh, the middleman raises the price to the public. That's all. You can get all the gasoline you want. You can take a bath in gasoline if you want to pay four twenty five a gallon for it. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm Hispanic, and that's one thing that's never missing in our our you know our kitchen is rice. But dude. That's the least of your worries that you should be running out of rice or, you know, oh, my God, it went up. But, what do you think this is, the Philippines? We're not running out of anything here. This is stupid. They said money. That's what we're running out because gas is taking it all. <laughs> That's pretty much it because, dude, gas is tight right now. No, gas is not tight. Gas is expensive. There is no gas shortage. And when's the last time you went to a gas station and you couldn't get gas? Oof. Not anytime soon. Uh, there ain't no big line. There, there are no lines because there is no shortage of gasoline. None. 
Yeah, that's true, because I work at a car dealership here in Ventura, and oh, my God, like, people don't go in because it's, it's expensive, this and that. Like, people are losing their houses. They can lose their cars also at the same time. They could, but there will be no shortage of gasoline when they do. Oh, no, that's for sure. They'll be happy with the full tank of gas they get, and they get with the car when they purchase it, but once it starts going low, because I see... Idiots buy 2,500 diesels, and, dude, what do you want a diesel for right now? As you can see, it's close to $5 a gallon. They're insane. Yeah, no, dude, don't get me wrong. but There's all the gasoline it. you need, folks, and as much as you want. Uh, come and get it. Trust me, I own stock in the oil companies. Please come in and pay four twenty five a gallon. We got all the gasoline you need. Uh, we ain't got to worry about that. We but. will not be running out. People that wrote that story about rice, oh, my God, they must be high as a mother. Well, no, no, the people who wrote the story were saying it's the people buying the rice. Who is going to the uh, Costco's or the Sam's Clubs and buying up all the rice and all the cooking oil? Who's doing this? Uh, you know, oh, my God, we're going to run out of flour. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. We are not running out of anything. We shouldn't be anytime soon, like you're saying. It, it's, you know what? It'll never happen. All that will happen is prices will go up and down. That's it. Uh, very true. That's one of the beauties of the free market system. Uh, I remember when I was growing up, I remember a bag of chips for 25 cents, then they raised it at 30. Damn. Well, you can make your own potato chips if you like them badly enough. Oh, hell no. <laughs> I ain't willing to. <laughs> so, you know what? You'll make them when they're $7 a bag. Then you'll make them. Uh, maybe not. Well, maybe you'll stop eating them. Oh, uh, hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah, I can't stop drinking beer, though. I understand, but you know the price of beer is going up, too. Uh, as long as they don't raise the price on my weed, it's all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? That's one thing that's not in short supply in Los Angeles. I'll tell you that. <laughs> can you take me out with the bong hit? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Here comes Byron on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, what's up? Uh, not you, much. You my uncle, man. All right, this is what's up. I deliver for for uh, my own company. We sell like you know stuff to various warehouses, and I hear stuff. And what they're actually doing is they're just stocking up on rice. We're not in a shortage. They're stocking it up so people get panicked. Then when people are panicked, they're going to sell it for high prices. Right now, um, back like two weeks ago, rice used to be $25 for 25 pounds. Now it's gone up to $40. They're waiting it. They're waiting for it to go up to 50 to 60. Then they're going to bring it out, and people are just going to eat it up like like it's crack or something, man. Well, That's no, what here's what's going to happen. The minute everybody's got 7,000 pounds of rice in their garage, it's going to drop to $25 again. Yeah, that's true. That's that's what I've been hearing, man. That's exactly what's going to happen. And people like me who've invested in the commodities mutual funds are going to be laughing all the way to the bank when you moron stock up on rice. I know, man. It, it's a shame, though. But that's all I wanted to say. Can you take me out with a JFK Jr. and a toilet flush? I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. It's Megan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you, darling? Doing great, Megan. Good. Um, I just had to say that this is hilarious. My ex husband is one of those people who will go out and stock up on everything. The minute that he hears that there's a shortage, it doesn't matter if it's in a foreign country. He would do the same thing with toilet paper. Every time we went to Costco, he would buy two giant things of toilet paper. We never ever ran out of toilet paper the entire time we were married, but. I mean, I know that he just stocked up on rice. I know that he's going out and buying flour and cooking oil, and I just think it's hilarious. I don't understand why people freak out about stuff like this. I know I'm not freaking out about it. Well, you shouldn't be. I mean, we live in the United States. There's never really been that much of a shortage. The only time, what, there were gas rations 
Back in the 70s. Back in the 70s and during World War II. That's like every 30, 35 years or so. Yeah, I don't think we have anything to worry about. Yeah. Is that okay, that job? What's that, Megan? Oh, I just had to say that. Thank oh, you so much. Glad you did. 1 800 5 800. Tom is our telephone number. Vicki on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How Hi. are you? Doing great, Vicki. Good. You know, I'm a Costco employee, actually, and I work in Signal Hill. And we get a lot of people who come in and buy this rice by flat loads. Who are these people? <laughs> Um, well, we get a lot of uh, the Asian people come in and buy the the rice. The Hispanic people come in and buy the rice. Well, no, no, they buy rice, but are they buying pallets of rice? They are buying, like, the orange flats full, like 20 bags at a time, the 25 20, bags. 20, 20, yeah, they buy 500 pounds of rice at a time? At a time. It's like 25 pounds of rice. That is insane. <laughs> it's crazy. That's I nuts. It's crazy. I know. And I'm thinking, what are they going to do with all this rice? That, that, that I, you know, the the grain weevils get to it before they do. That's what I was thinking. I don't want all that rice in my house. I, you know how many <laughs> bugs that's going to attract by the time you get to the last ten bags? Exactly. <laughs> Have a good day, Tom. You too, Vicky. Talking to you. Thank you for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here's Brandon on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are we doing? Hello, today? Brandon. Yeah. Well, basically, let me cut short. Um, I work with the food distributing businesses, uh, disposables. But what I know of, because I deal with a lot of people, it has to do with Monterey Park, um, San Gabriel Valley. And uh, it's a lot that has to do with Filipinos, uh, Japanese, etc. And what they do nowadays, they, like you said, they do stock up. And a lot of it goes to waste also because of... Um, you know, just uh, restaurant supplying or, you know, because uh, a lot of a lot of areas out there are pretty dirty. And they get bugs in their stuff and all that. Because if you go down around um, San Gabriel Valley or uh, Monterey Park, you know a lot more places you'll see have a lot more C grades and D grades out there than any A or Bs. And they, what they do is they just buy plenty of the stock out there and basically either let it go to waste or some uh, Why would they do that? Wait, 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 wait. Why? That doesn't make any sense. They buy rice and let it go to waste? No, it's not that they let it go to waste. They buy plenty of stock, you know, and, um, you know, they use it for the restaurants, of course. But what I'm saying is a lot of companies out there, like the little restaurant, uh, they basically um, got, like, C-grade, D-grade averages, and sometimes, you know, they get the bugs and all that, and it eats away at the food. And that means they have to waste it because they don't take care of their uh, merchandise. So how does buying pallets of 25-pound bags of rice uh, help them? Well, what they do also is they ship it. They ship it back. They sometimes they they uh, send it back out to uh, the Philippines or uh, Japan, and they help out um, like their other brother parts of the companies. So they are sending it to like relatives and stuff. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of back and forth transitioning they do with the food. I see. Very, very strange. <laughs> wow. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Jose on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hello, Father. Hello, son. How you doing, Tom? Do you care? Uh, yes, I do, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing great. All right, I'm glad to hear that. Uh, I just uh, had a comment regarding uh, all that rice that um, people were buying. I used, I myself used to uh, buy tons of rice. Uh, for uh, the reason being is that uh, I was uh, in. Uh, um, with a friend, we uh, had a small restaurant, right? Uh, so we were uh, stuck up on the rice, the cooking oil, potatoes, etc. So we would go every week and stock up, buy tons of it, and uh, just uh, see if we can uh, uh, run a business like that, you know? So, so you much. think the people going out and buying all this rice own, like, restaurants? Um, most of the people that buy uh, in bulk like that uh, usually have a small restaurant, or have a restaurant that they're running, you know. So, uh, but my business uh, didn't work out. Uh, that was like two years ago, and uh, I am no longer buying in bulk. <laughs> Boy. So, uh, so I think uh, people are just idiots for uh, bringing this uh, thing that uh, oh, it's uh, we're running out of rice or cooking oil. They're idiots. Uh, it's it's not it's no uh, it's not an issue. Amazing you know? stuff. It's amazing. I, I can't believe it. What well, I thank you for the call. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. There are people so convinced 
that rice and other grains and cooking oil are going to be in short supply. They are running to Sam's Club and Costco and stocking up so much that Sam's Club and Costco are limiting how much you can buy. Who are these people? Lightus. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. I was just like that one guy that was waiting around for that one girl forever. And then it occurred to me why. There's tons and tons of girls out there. If one doesn't give it up to you, many more will. You know, you just got to find them and make it happen. Right? Why waste your time on one girl? It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, it's the Tom Likas Show at one 800 800 tom Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being part of the program. We appreciate it. We're 1-800-5-800-TOM. Who are these morons who think we're running out of rice and wheat and flour and cooking oil? Who are you people? Edgar on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing okay. Good to hear, buddy. I was actually just calling because I was listening to your story about the rice and, uh, it was a it was a little joke that they did out in Phoenix on the radio, and uh, they were saying that there was a shortage of toilet paper, and they had callers, you know, calling in playing along with the joke, and I guess people were hitting the stores left and right, picking up that toilet paper, picking them up by pallets. <laughs> it, it, it's ridiculous. It, how stupid can people be? I mean, in a right. free market <laughs> economy, there's not a shortage of anything. I know, people go crazy sometimes when they hear, it's like this Y2K thing. <laughs> yeah, how stupid were people do at Y2K? Uh, remember everybody <laughs> freaking out about uh, whether there'd be enough champagne? Oh, yeah. The stores were flooded with champagne. They For years, wineries were selling uh, Y2K champagne. They were not able to unload because <laughs> there was so much of it. Yeah, who are these people, Tom? Absolutely stupid. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Eddie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Professor? Not much, Eddie. Hey, uh, part of the thing, too, one of my theories on this, too, is uh, maybe the economy. Maybe people are uh, spending less money going out to eat and uh, trying to cook some food up at home. But there's still no shortage of anything. No, I, and I agree with that. But I'm just what I'm saying is I think maybe people are buying more of those twenty pound bags and the oil to cook for their family opposed to uh, uh, going out and spending the big money at the well, restaurant. Well, but no, but this is not normal. People buying five twenty pound bags of rice at a time, or people buying a pallet of rice. That's not feeding a family. No, it's not. Nobody has a family that big. Well, there are stupid people out there, I guess. Yes, and I'm addressing them today. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Ernest on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Father, first time, long time. Thank you, Ernest. Hey, you know, I, uh, that's funny. I heard a caller earlier talk about uh, being signal hail at worker at Costco. I'm also Filipino, and I don't buy pallets of rice. Oh, I understand that. In fact, uh, nothing we said had to do with Filipinos, but it had to do with people watching the news and seeing riots about food yeah, and I, thinking I, I that's agree. coming here. I don't think that uh, um, I think that people are, do have a fear that their food is running out. But, it, you know, I'm glad that these same people don't buy stock, you know, just because, you know, the price is high and people think that there's, you know. No, I want them to buy stock because I want to sell all my mutual funds to them. Exactly. You know? And, and same thing with oil. There's no shortage of oil or fuel. Like, think of all the people who, my God, they thought they were going to get left behind. They weren't going to be able to buy a house. Yeah. And all, they all yeah. paid ridiculous prices for real estate. Look what happened to them. Ha, 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 ha. One of my buddies bought a house for $500,000 last year, and the reason why he bought a house, he said, was because everybody else is buying one. Right. So, They're going to run out of real estate. You know, they're not making any new land. Yeah. Nope. <laughs> uh, can you blow me up, please? I appreciate I it. I certainly can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here comes Russ on the Tom Likas Show. Hey, Tom. How you doing, buddy? Doing okay. Um I, part of the problem is what, what they're doing right now is with this panic situation is, is the restaurant tours that are selling to these big places, the restaurants, the sushi bars, all the stuff down in L.A. and all these other independent restaurants, they're driving the prices up from their, from their merchandisers. And they can get it cheaper at Costco and Walmart and places like that. 
So they're flooding the market as soon as their prices go up higher than they can find it out on the other markets. And in return, Walmart and Costco and all those places report to the news, well, we got a shortage of rice. So this, the free market is kind of coming back around and biting them because the restaurateurs, the, the ones that are, are, are selling the, the merchandise wholesale, are raising their prices higher than Walmart and Costco are selling it for. Well, I, I wouldn't be surprised. There's money to be made, but that's what a free market is all about. Exactly. Well, that's what's causing the panic because, you know, all of a sudden Walmart and Costco say, hey, we can't keep up with the supply and demand when they're the ones that are selling it cheaper than... Yeah, but why panic? It, you're never going to run out of rice. Never, ever, ever. Oh, exactly, exactly. And they know that. And they know that. But the, the, it's all about the economics. The, the prices are going to where they're, they're, they're shifting to those stores. Oh, I understand that. But, but, but again, they, they're saying there's this run on rice, a run on cooking oil. Like, where did people get the idea that we're running out of that stuff? Exactly. Well, we're not running out of it. It's just the, it's shifting the markets from place to place, and then people get panicky because they're not the restaurateurs are not getting their money anymore. They're delivering. By the, the way, supplies. folks, if you want the price of a commodity to go down, stop buying it. Exactly. Exactly. The reason gasoline prices keep going up is because people won't cut their usage. Exactly. Exactly. It's supply and demand, and if you have the supply, people will pay for it. The reason I'm making so much money investing in oil companies is because people are idiots. Sure. They won't stop using my product. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly, Tom. Thank you, Russ. Take me out old style, huh? Here you go, baby. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here's John on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Good, long time listener, first time caller. Thank you. Hey, I just want to say that uh, I'm Filipino and I'm a rice rocket, but I don't buy pallets of rice. Well, who is? Yeah, those idiots out there that's raising the prices of these commodities, that's what it is. They're stupid. Yep. And by running out and panicking and buying up as much as they can, they're only guaranteeing the price is going to go up higher, just like they do with gasoline and so many other things. Right. And one more thing, Tom. Uh, that guy who said that we're sending rice over to the Philippines, they actually sent us rice over here. So, you know, I think that's wrong. Well, according to everything I've read, we grow more rice than we need. And and I, as I just read to you earlier, half of the rice uh, we produce in California is exported. It's not even sold here. Oh, wow. Well, blow me up, Tom. Thanks here, for here you go, thing. baby. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Here is Randy on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Uh, short time listener, first time caller. Thank you, Randy. Hey, um, basically what I'm thinking happening is all the small family-owned businesses are going to Costco and buying all the rice up and everything, and they're really trying to take a shortcut and get it cheaper, but they're just really screwing themselves in the long run. Well, uh, they're screwing everybody in the long run, but guess what? Uh, uh, the, my solution is just eat other things in the meantime until the prices come down. No big deal. I agree with you. Or the small-time companies need to quit. You know, They're just basically going over there and buying everything, everything they can, like you said, trying to buy it all at once and save themselves some money, but in the long run, they're just kind of hurting themselves. No doubt about it. Mel on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. Hey, listen, there's a, a gazillion Asians all over the world, and I haven't seen one go hungry yet. Man, this is ridiculous. Well, I don't know about other countries, but uh, but there are other countries that don't have a free enterprise system. There are other countries where the government buys rice and other staples, and then the government either sells them or doles them out. Well, I'll and those you, countries I, may have shortages, but in a free enterprise system, the beauty of it is you never have a shortage of anything. Well, that's true. You know, here, here's the deal. I got a bunch of friends here that are surfers and all that stuff. They live dollar to dollar, paycheck to paycheck. And all that. When they go hungry, guess where they go to feed themselves? They go to the cupboard and cook the, uh, a thing of rice. And, I, and again, I've yet to see them go hungry. Rice is going to be around forever. It, it ain't going anywhere. People I mean, thinking we're out of it. Go. It's the stupidest thing I've ever seen. It's just stupid. Let, let me give you an example with something that you can relate to, okay? Let's take sports tickets. There is not a sporting event you can't go to. Now, there's a limited number of tickets, every event, you know, basketball, it's about 20,000 seats, football, anywhere from 60 to 99,000 seats. 
but there isn't a game you can't go to. You go to that website like StubHub, and there's other ones like it. And every single sporting event you want to go to, the tickets are there. All of them. All the time. Anytime you want. There's also various ticket brokers uh, available here. And in, in Los Angeles, they are legal. In fact, in California, they are legal. There is not an event you can't go to. You want to go to the Super Bowl? You're in. Period. There's no such thing as a shortage of tickets. The minute everybody has bought up the tickets, if you offer a little more than what the ticket is worth, somebody's going to sell you their ticket. That's what free enterprise is all about. The same thing is true with anything else out there. The difference between rice and Super Bowl tickets, uh, there's only about 80,000 Super Bowl tickets, and there's a ton, there's millions of tons, billions of tons of rice. There is no shortage of it. You've got to be an idiot to believe that. It's just just the stupidest thing I've ever heard of. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing okay. Yes, I care. Yes. I want to uh, comment on uh, why everything's going up right now. Uh, I, I, I like to trade stocks. I do that almost uh, full time. And uh, why everything's going up is oil is the king of commodities right now. The oil trades adversely to the dollar, okay? It hardly has to do anymore with supply and demand, which people don't even, most people don't even realize that anymore. When the, when the dollar goes down, oil goes up. When oil goes up, it takes everything else up with it. That's the bottom line. So that's how it works. Can you take me out of school, Tom? I certainly can. Five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Derek in Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing okay, Derek. Cool. Yeah, man. Anyone that says that there's a shortage of rice is a moron. Uh, I'm in the food distributing business, and uh, it's just like anything else, man. Like rice is up, but so is pinto beans, for an example. Uh, two years ago, we were buying pinto beans for. What, 15, 16 bucks? Now it's around $21. There's no shortage, you know. Uh, same thing with, you know, eggs, eggs. You know, two years ago it was 15. Now it's like $23, you know, for a case. You know, it's just like anything else. And like that last caller said, it's a lot of it has to do with oil prices. You know, it also has to do with everything else going up. Well, it has more to do with the fact that uh, in response to oil prices, uh, this country has engaged in a misguided effort to encourage the production of ethanol and only to encourage it uh, through the use of corn. That's exactly right. So farmers now are producing more corn and less of every other grain there is. And that corn, instead of being used to feed people and animals that people eat, is being used for ethanol very ineffectively. And that, that is exactly right. And that's how my uh, Pino Bean guy said the exact same thing. All these guys that were growing corn before were making almost nothing. Now they finally get a chance to make some money, and the price of that is going up. Isn't it interesting? interesting. Isn't it interesting? With all this talk of shortages, this is a fact I'm about to give you. This was the biggest corn harvest this past fall. was the biggest corn harvest since the year 1946. Wow. So how can there be shortages? Yeah. The answer is there aren't any. Hmm. It's yeah, just right. stupid. Just stupid. <laughs> Mary on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you? Doing okay. You. Thank you. Uh, I just wanted to tell you, I flew over to Sacramento in a business meeting in February. Okay, this was the, like the 12th of February. And we flew over uh, Fresno and all that area. And I saw this flooding, and I thought, man, did they get flooding from the rain? And when I asked some of the people that I met with, they said, no, those are rice farms. Right. Most of Fresno is rice farms. Uh, Fresno and the whole San Joaquin Valley, rice patties, lots of them. Amazing stuff. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. That's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. The Tom Likas Show.